Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can handle asynchronous data in Node.js. In last video, we discussed about asynchronous and synchronous programming and uh, I told you that Node.js is basically a asynchronous programming language. That's why this is really fast, but it has some disadvantage also. And in last video, I told you that we have a problem whenever we are working with the some async data or you can see that whenever we have uh, some complex uh, data that will take some time so in this video we will resolve that problem with the help of promises so first of all let's uh, recap the problem then we will uh, proceed with the promises and all so whenever i am running this program here you can see that it will basically return 20 because a and b uh, we are just adding both of them and initial value of B is 0 and A is 20 right uh, that's okay but uh, if we are looking on this uh, set timeout here you can see that B is updated with the value of 30 so this is not the actually correct value that we want so we want uh, here the updated value with the B so how we can get it for that we can use two things one is we can use callbacks which is the old thing and in the today's today's programming we are not much using these callback functions we basically use the promises and async await so in this video we will resolve this problem with the uh, promises and this is really important for interviews also in interviews they can just give you the problem like this and they will tell you uh, tell you that uh, just resolve this problem right so now let's see how we can resolve it first of all we have to define a promise whenever we have a complex logic like this so we know that this is not a complex uh, uh, logic here but still it will taking the two times uh, two seconds of time right so i am just taking a data let's say waiting data or something you can put anything any name to it and here let's take a promise new promise and this promise basically have a callback function and it have the arrow function this is the arrow function and uh, it have the two parameters resolve and reject like this so whenever our problem is resolved let's say we are just using this data inside here uh, and our problem is actually resolved that time we call this resolve functions and maybe we we just get here some error or something else that time we can just reject this promise right so what we are doing here after two seconds just simply resolve it and let's pass your uh, value here like this after that uh, whenever we will wrap our uh, logic inside the promise after that we have to resolve this promise also how we can resolve it waiting data dot then and uh, in this uh, arrow functions parameter we will get our data so here you can see that data so now if i am just printing this console.log you will find that we are getting here 30 here you can see that right but still you can see that uh, we have another console which is the last one is still getting 20 so what we have to do we have to just write this code inside our promise like this but here we don't have b so what we can do here we can just simply add here data like this or if you really want to put this data in the b then just put here like this b is data and you can print it like this a plus b and let's run it and here you will find that we are getting actual value after waiting waiting the uh, complex logic or you can say that after waiting the two seconds so that's all that how you can just handle the asynchronous data and we will use this promise in the uh, upcoming videos also and if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video